Hi friends, how are you doing today? So today I'm going to discuss whether you should do a direct PhD or not. Now a direct PhD is a situation where you have done your bachelor's degree and you straight away continue with the PhD degree without doing any master's degree. Now, why did the direct PhD become popular? One of the reasons is that many students spent a lot of time doing a master's degree and there is a lot of training involved in this process. The professors, the university put in a lot of time and effort in training a master's degree student and at the end of the master's degree most students take up a job or they may go to some different university maybe in a different country and do their PhD there. So many universities and also research faculty figured out that if there are precocious students who actually want to do a PhD straight away, why not get them in a direct PhD program? And essentially what is done is that students who are deemed to be very good in terms of their background, in terms of the performance in their bachelor's degree and maybe in some examination scores, are selected to do the direct PhD program. So, of course, as far as universities are concerned, there is a lot of benefit from the direct PhD program because the effort that you put in in training these students to become researchers through the research training coursework as well as the basic research which you learn in the first couple of years after your bachelor's degree program is directly used in the direct PhD and essentially this may lead to several publications which contribute to the knowledge in the field. Now as far as the student is concerned the advantage is that you get to have a PhD directly. You may avoid an excess of coursework which you may need if you do a master's degree and then do a PhD degree because sometimes you may need to do a large amount of coursework to get the master's degree and then you may need to do further coursework to get a PhD degree. So there are some advantages in terms of time and so on. Now if you are somebody who has made up his mind that you want to do a PhD right at the end of your bachelor's degree program then probably you can contemplate going for the direct PhD because it's going to save you a lot of time and it's going to get you the degree faster. Now what are the possible negative features of getting this kind of direct PhD? One could be that you don't get a master's degree and that could be a problem in some cases. There are some universities who actually like to have people with a master's degree. So that's something to keep in mind. You also have a situation where if things don't go very well in your direct PhD program and for some reason you have to leave this program, then you do not have a master's degree. Your last degree was a bachelor's degree. So that's something to keep in mind. This happens in very few cases, but unfortunately it does take place. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, many universities have introduced a fallback master's possibility in such scenarios. So in such cases, if the student fi finds out at the end of maybe three or four years into his direct PhD that he or she does not want to do a PhD, then he could probably write a thesis and get a master's degree or use his coursework and get a master's degree. So that is a strategy which is there in many institutions, but you need to figure it out if it is there in the institution which you are going to. So. One more problem could be that if you are somebody who decides to change his supervisor or wants to change his university, then if you do a master's degree that is simpler for you, you could do a master's degree. Maybe the problem you are doing is not gelling with you and maybe you want to do a different problem or you want to work with a different supervisor or you want to go to a different university, maybe in a different country then all these things are easier if you have done a master's degree and then you want to do a PhD somewhere else with a different supervisor, maybe on a different problem and so on. 
So these are some issues you need to keep in mind before you enter into the direct PhD program. Like I said, it's a good program. If you are very committed to research, if you know what you are going to do, and if you have a very clear vision of your future, but it does close certain possible scenarios also. So that's my take on direct PhD. Stay tuned to my channel. Please subscribe if you have not. And I'll see you soon in a new video.